One of the biggest challenges in motorsport has always been how to create a deeper connection between what's happening on track and the audience itself. What we've done with this platform is we've leveraged the fact that live VR can exist and it can happen in high resolution. We needed to have a reliable and robust solution that was able to transmit live video feeds to several points, not only on the racetrack, but beyond that as well. So Fizzlink have been involved in motorsports for over 30 years. So we've got a unique uh, perspective on what's needed for motorsport in terms of the demands, the complex environment, the stresses that are placed on the electronic equipment. So a technical problem that we were solving is to get reliable, robust uh, VR feed uh, from the race car, the racetrack, to multiple points around the circuit and in multiple homes. How do we get this really high resolution video off the car and into live production? So we worked closely with Vislink to design a solution that allowed us to do the minimum we need to do on the car, keeping weight and power consumption down um, and get a high quality signal over RF and then at the other end, do what we need to do in live production. So we were able to blend the latest 4K encoding and our robust proprietary COFDEM infrastructure into our quantum receive network. Also package that in a motorsport safe, you know, vibration proof package, which is gonna survive the tests of these uh, high performance cars. One of the biggest challenges in motorsport has always been how to create a deeper connection between what's happening on track and the audience itself. We found that by combining the onboard live video footage and the data which we could get off the car as well, we could create uh, an experience that fully immersed the viewer in the, the racing experience, gave them an insight into what the AI was doing, allowed them to interact in the headset. This is our Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League car. It's a completely autonomous car. Now the focal point and VisLink system involves an 8K camera sourced by IO Industries. This does full 8K, 60 frames a second. We send this to the VisLink HCAM transmitter. This does the 8K video IP over RF. And we receive it in our control center, which allows us to then send it to our VR apps. The primary takeaway here is that we're delivering super low latency, ultra low latency, single frame video encoding and IP transport stream, which is facilitating a live virtual reality environment for both viewers at the track, at the event, but also importantly at home. With the collaboration between VisLink and Focal Point VR, we've been able to install this camera right here to allow for live onboard VR during the race with the ability to jump from race car to race car. We have the lowest latency video encoding in the world, which has enabled the workflow of the VR uh, visual broadcast to be sub 250 milliseconds. What we've done with this platform, given the fact we don't have a human driver in the vehicle, is we've leveraged the fact that live VR can exist and it can happen in high resolution. Uh, we were awarded the contract um, because of the latency that we can provide over our COFDEM video link. So in terms of robustness and video encoding latency, they're the two critical points that enable the VR workflow to be effective in a live environment. For the motorsport industry as a whole, being able to scale the solution down and being able to make it lighter and safer will ultimately allow viewers that immersive experience across the board in all racing series. So our next stage for A2RL is to build digital twin models of the track and allow the user not to just select which on board they'd like to be, but potentially take control of a car. So. Now, this could be duplicated, replicated in any number of motorsports and other sports productions. VisLink and Focal Point VR have put a scalable solution in place that we can build on for the years to come and provide more reliable feed in higher resolution to more people around the world.